I only have one AirPod in because this happened two days ago. I took a beautiful, like a, a massive shit, dude. Literally, like it was a massive shit. And I was wiping. And when I went to wipe, like I like, you know, I'm not. This episode is not behind a paywall. <laughs> I'm not trying to like. Anyone can okay, listen to this. I don't care, okay? What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you clicked on this video, I have a very exciting announcement, and that is that me and Mattia have decided to launch a Patreon together for a visual podcast. The link will be down below, and all the details of the two tiers that are offered will be in that link. Since we moved away, we've gotten a lot of DMs of people requesting that we find a way to make content together, regardless of the fact that we are now long distance. And so of course the first thing that came to mind was to do a visual podcast together. That being said, we also weren't sure about the semantics of the whole thing. Where are we going to post these videos? Whose channel will they go on? Should we make separate channels? And so eventually we decided instead of launching our own individual Patreons, which we had planned to do, we would just launch one together and post the visual podcast episodes there for you. This way we're able to maintain our own individuality on our pages, post the content that we each individually wanna post. But there's also a way that you are able to support us if the visual podcast is something that you are interested in. Of course, we know this isn't for everyone and there's no pressure to join the Patreon, but if you do just know that you are supporting us and you are supporting the creation of our content and we really appreciate you guys. Obviously none of this could be done without our subscribers. You have supported us for a very long time and now there is a new way that you can support support us if you would so like to. So that's all. I'm super excited to announce the Patreon. I hope that you all enjoy Do you have it. any suggestions? If there's something that if we added it to the Patreon, you would be more interested in joining, feel free to let us know down below. We are absolutely open to any critiques or criticism right now. But other than that, enjoy this sample episode of essentially what episodes will look like when they are on the Patreon. Formatting of episodes is going to be varied. Some days we might answer a question, other days we might just catch up. But the whole idea behind it is that it offers a place for us to catch up, stay in touch so that we don't become separated, but also involve you guys in that and give you guys content in the form of a visual podcast. We are super excited to launch this and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we enjoy to make it. Thank you. It's fine as like whatever. I don't care. I'm I'm just being I'm speaking the truth and maybe someone else can relate to the situation and I'm helping them through this. You know, they're you're not alone. Anyways, so I went to wipe and I was looking down because you know I don't want to like wipe my belly button or something. <laughs> like I want to hit the spot. So I'm wiping and as I look down my AirPod falls out right into the pile of shit like it just plops on <laughs> yeah there was an entry no, yeah like i was like no do you want me to send you a picture that's okay that's okay why did you well, take I, a picture? Mean, I was thinking maybe you could like put it on the episode like click put it bait. where <laughs> you've already put it somewhere click bait or something <laughs> like give people to click on the video you know what i'm saying like hey hey yeah it'll get youtube security to click on Our the video patrons <laughs> paid money and if they, they're going to get, okay. Anyways, so. Not for this. I picked it up out of the poop and I washed it with like Dawn dish soap, but I didn't have any rice. So it's just, it's literally sitting right here. It's, it's. It's just a Dawn no, sponsorship that I didn't know It's in about. a bag of quinoa because I don't have rice and I'm like, what? Oh, look, you can kind of see it in there. Okay, so you know that you can't eat the quinoa after this. I wash it with Dawn soap. Girl, that that is a biohazard in a it's bag. It's just getting the water out. You're going to put that back in your yeah. ear? Yeah. I wash it with Dawn. Dude, AirPods are freaking like 150 bucks. Are you kidding me? I might. No, because Matthew. Well, you can't replace your listen, ears. Our. <laughs> actually not yet anyways. actually yeah so anyways but i'm so like traumatized from the situation that i haven't shit since which i was gonna ask you do we get bathroom breaks during this that is not the logical response listen the logical response to that situation is not to be like i should never shit ever again the logical response is to be like maybe i shouldn't wear my airpods in the bathroom <laughs> while i'm you shitting wouldn't think. why were you doing that because anyway I'm what if why what are you trying to block out you need to focus that I'm much. I'm listening to a podcast. You have noise canceling no, on. Noise canceling feature. You can you not listen to yourself? It's. I mean, what do I? What would I rather listen to? Someone in my ear telling me I'm a beautiful, wonderful person, or my butthole defecating. The f first option, duh. I'm thinking about like getting a new pair of headphones and like seeing if I can switch them in or something. Though, <laughs> I don't know if they have the option. <laughs> Girl, you cannot tell them what happened. 
Well, yeah, I dropped this. I dropped Usually with tech stuff, I'm like, be honest. Like, be honest so they can help you. Not this time. Can you imagine Not being like, time. I'm trying to switch my AirPods in, but I, because I like drop them in shit. Like, <laughs> they're clean. He's like holding it, looking at it. So what's wrong with it? You're like, I actually fell in a pile of shit. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, but anyways, That's I hilarious. haven't been able to shit since. So like, I might need to take a bathroom break in the middle of this because I took a laxative like 30 minutes ago. Because I was like, I, I need to clean myself out before I do this. Um, yeah, I might have to go, okay. though, because I'm, I'm starting so? to get the urge, just letting you know. So we have about... Why are you bouncing? <laughs> well, it kind of, like, puts it back in there. We gotta make this quick. Like, if it starts coming out, you I'm like, make- come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready for you to leave yet. Ew. It's been two days. You're talking about this way too much. I don't want you to feel this comfortable on this. Well, and also, the reason that I've been constipated is because I, my significant other has been staying here, and I just cannot shit in front of him. Like, I want to so bad, I can't mentally. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why. Mentally or physically? No, mentally I want to. Physically I can't. It's a thing. People are like, just suck it up, just, I... Just suck it up. Just, like, push. Right. No. I can't. And more so than the sound is I worry about the smell after. There's actually spray that you can get to spray on the toilet, and then you poop, and then it, like, blocks the smell from coming out. It hides the scent. Uh-huh. It's, like, a barrier. Yeah. There's, that's a literal wow. thing. Wow. That's really impressive. Okay, should we, like, introduce the I episode if they would stuff? sponsor us. What's up, guys? If you're watching this, you're watching my YouTube channel. So, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. I post new videos every Sunday. Today, I'm giving you a little sample of what is about to be something that is going to be on our Patreon. Me and Mattia just launched a Patreon together. We are going to be posting visual podcast episodes like this one. And this one is a perfect example of what it's going to be like. Maybe not a perfect example. I actually don't know that I want this to be the commercial for the entire visual podcast cuz we'll be talking about different shit on the podcast. So, come on my our little patriots. That's hilarious. Join us patriots. Let's no. go. Patriarchy. No. <laughs> come on. No. Absolutely come on, not. Let's call them our little patriots. Absolutely not. Our little patriots. <laughs> I am going to cut you and do this solo. Okay, so what is this? What are we doing? What are we even talking about? Basically, me and Mattia have moved away from each other, and we still wanted to make content together, but we're pro- we're both pursuing our own kind of things on our own pages right now, and obviously, it's like a very different experience, and it's really limiting to make content long distance from people, but you guys keep DMing us, asking us to continue making content for you together, and we are trying to think of a good way to do this. We both have wanted to start a Patreon for a and while. We are finally doing it, but we're doing it together. So these episodes are going to be available after this. We're posting like little samples of it. And I think every now and then we might post like the first 10 minutes of an episode. But we're going to be posting these episodes on our Patreon, which I will have linked down below. There are two different tiers to start Essentially, with. Essentially, a good summary I feel like is there's one tier that's one episode. There's another tier that's two episodes. And then there's like little bonus things for each tier. So... That'll be linked down below. What about the third tier? We're really excited. This means... What third tier? I told you. the I'll, I'll send feet pics for $50,000. That's Foot Finder. Yeah, but That's I wanted not... to just do it on the Patreon. Um, Come on, man. We'll, we'll get back to you guys on the third tier. We'll talk privately. No, just two. No, we'll talk just privately two. and figure it out. <laughs> That's... Okay, sure. We're gonna talk... <laughs> If you want to, there are two tiers you available on the Patreon. The dog's dirty. No, that's okay. Hi, you put those dogs away. You guys want to put those dogs down? I'd rather, I'd rather see the shit pick. I'm gonna send it to you anyways. You don't have to beg. That's not the first thing I'm gonna have to censor on this episode. You send that to me, and we are gonna have problems. Look, Kayla, I, I don't want you to like get exhausted imagining it. It's easier to just okay, see it. Okay, wait. Be honest. Should we start? I'm rewatching the Vampire Diaries right now. Just spoiler alert. Should we start? Like, hello, brother. What? Hello, sister. What? You know, the Vampire Diaries. I haven't seen that in forever. They, they talk to each other. Stephanie, David talk to each other. They're like, hello, brother. Well, my sister. I think we should. Why is it my? Why did you put the my in front of it? It just sounds. 
They don't say hello. Hello, my, my sister. It makes me feel like you're about to kidnap me, is what it Come is. Come on, my sister. Get into this band. There's candy. Mmm. And if you're keto, we have keto options. All right, we're going to cut. We have all the candy options. No excuse for why you wouldn't want any. You're like kidnapping the Karens to brainwash them into like being decent people. <laughs> That's how you get them. I've got Ross taking the trunk. I gotta be honest, the Karens are doing great stuff for this world. It's entertaining. You know, the. You woke up and tro- chose controversy. <laughs> no, listen. This is listen, it's entertaining. The w- Think about being a customer service worker and all. And stop. Let me finish, please. Please let me finish. <laughs> your AirPod when it fell into your shit. <laughs> okay, anyways, think about being a customer service worker and all day there's like little instances that like piss you off just a little bit. Well, they bring all of those and put them together in a person and come at you and then no one's mad at you when you blow- when you're like you're a fucking idiot leave. Like you kind of get to get that like rage out you know so you're saying that the karens should be used as a tool and sent in as like a a an anger yeah, release a punching exactly. bag for the customer service workers who undoubtedly have to put up with all bullshit day. all day and then they get a, like they're gonna exist so we might as well strategically exactly use them. and a karen is like a pass you know because everyone around agrees with the customer service worker that is like a free pass to like let yeah, it out. Obviously. That's so true. So we just need to like time and them better. We, and also I think we need to invest in some better camera work for these moments that we catch, you know? <laughs> I thought you were going to say we need to invest in some better Karens. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> How are the kids out there that have Karen mothers and are not like them? How are you doing? That's my question. Nobody wants to talk about... I don't think I don't think they're not like them. Well, I don't think I think it's impossible to be raised under a Karen. What the fuck? There's a dog in my apartment. And I'm just kidding. I know the dog. Okay, <laughs> you were like you, you were like oh. um wait there's there really is a dog in your apartment. What what the heck? <laughs> That's what you were like when I said that. You're like wait um wait. Maybe it's violent, though, so, like, be careful. And I'm like, I, I'm kidding, I know. Is that what you were like? Before this episode started, me and Mattia were talking this morning because we're not going to name names. Because stitches get snitches. Wait, stitches get, wait. Stitches get, s- snitches get. If you stitch the bitch, you're going to get a snitch. Holy crap. Please look how high my eyebrow is right now. <laughs> Holy <laughs> You look like that girl. Did they get, it. did they get like more? Yeah, I do. Wait, should I get that checked out? Yeah. Good thing I love stitches. We're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about like when you watch the red carpet videos and you see the celebrities walking down the red carpet? Some of them just look like they know that they're about to be in an edit. I'm not naming names. But we were we were just watching this one person earlier because we were watching videos of them. And I was like, I don't even think I don't even think at this point that they walk in regular motion. I think they save the editor's work and they're walking in slow motion. Like, I don't even think there's been an effect applied. I think they're just like, no, literally, dude. And, and Mattia like, was like, who are they the waving they- at? Like, <laughs> like when they do the Ex- like they they know the cameras are on them so they are they are making faces that they know are going to get picked up by the cameras so they can become like an internet thing like no no person in a sane mind is going to look at another person that they don't know like a fan and be like <sighs> do you think that publicists now just when they bring on a new client they're just like when you're on the red carpet you're in an edit like don't do anything yes. different when you walk on the red carpet you are existing inside of an edit you need to but totally that has got to be like the one thing what that they're telling them now yeah what is gonna give your movie show whatever more press than having a fine ass person walking the red carpet dressed up i mean you can't really argue with it though because we would all everybody would do the same thing if they were on the red carpet i mean 
if I was on the red carpet, I would the whole time I'd be like. I feel like somebody would like get and, a clip of me like low key shaking, but not in like a key. Not they. It wouldn't be the edit that's like, oh my gosh, they were nervous. It would be like, what the, does this person have to shit? Like, why is she walking like that? <laughs> Like my hand would be, sh- oh, maybe sorry, maybe like my off. leg would be shaking That's so a little bit. Funny That's so embarrassing. No, what's embarrassing is I know for a fucking fact that if I was on the red carpet, because this bitch gets wedgies all the time, I they would get a shot of me like picking my ass. <laughs> yeah. Also, are they allowed to wear AirPods on the red carpet? Because imagine like walking to like if some, I could like, choose music. my own music, it would be a different story. You would choose fucking Superman's theme song. <laughs> I'd be like, somebody save me. Little one. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. No, no. That's, there are two but different you know, types of people. Would be, there are two different types of people. The type of people that when you say Superman theme song, they <laughs> sing the dun, 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 dun. And then there's the types of people that sing the Smallville Superman theme song. And there's only one right Yeah, because the real Superman, I'm... Michaela, I'm talking you in a suit walking down the aisle with your AirPod. Do 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 do. do, do They'd be like, slow the fuck do, 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 do. down. <laughs> I'm literally. <laughs> Maybe we just uncovered why they don't <laughs> allow AirPods on the red carpet. Actually, that's hilarious. No, that's I'm like so passing. Funny. You know how they like well, have them I- in a line. Like they're in a, they're in a specific mm-hmm. order and you move at the same time. Everybody moves up a spot. I'm just walking by everybody. I'm like, right. <laughs> <laughs> they slow down my edit. It just looks like it's normal pace. <laughs> You're just trying to get into the orders, orders, orders. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's so. I want. Well, I wonder if they actually like don't allow AirPods or if like. It's a fashion thing because, like, you see their ears because earrings are like a thing. Celebrities that could get away with an AirPod, with one AirPod, and celebrities that couldn't. I think Til- Timothy Chalamet could, could get away with one AirPod. I also think, actually, controversial opinion, I think it would have to be a man. I think if a woman did it, they would be like, she's so disrespectful. Like, she, she's ignoring right. people. Like, people are trying to talk to her and she's being rude. If Timothy did it, everybody would be like, Oh my god, he's listening to his grounding sounds. Like, you know what I mean? Right. No, I think I think the the women that could pull it off are the ones that are like, I don't give a fuck. Like Billie Eilish, literally. Like she's just so like her own person. She doesn't give I a guess fuck, I don't know, know enough about her to know her her lore, but I could see Okay, it. I just this is a complete change of subject, but my AirPod just made the sound where it's like do 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 do. Like it's about to she's die. Got a little time. I'm about to have to put the poop no, I'm about to have to put the poop AirPod in my ear. Girl, <laughs> ethically, morally. I don't know. Economically, I cannot let you do that. I cannot let you do that. I honestly don't know if it even even works or is charged because it's been in that quinoa for a minute. Bag of like, biohazard. <laughs> Dude, you got to dispose of make, that. I'm going to... No, because this is the perfect... I just need someone to fuck with me so that I can be like, let me make you dinner. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> let me let me make you a healthy quinoa dinner. Allegedly. <laughs> okay, so the whole point of this is that like we're supposed to kind of catch up with each other. And then eventually, when you guys start leaving feedback, we'll catch up with you. But we don't know anything about you now. We will in the I wonder future. if there's anyone named Alex listening. I want, yeah. What's up, Alex? I wonder how Alex is. Do we, by any chance, have any Susies in the room of us? <laughs> Susie right would be, that would be rare. That's a trading card that, that I'd would, like. Exactly what I'm thinking. What about any. Wait. What about any Mateos? Mateos? Did you say. Did you say that? I said Mateos. Oh, I- <laughs> okay, one any more. Any Mateos in here? Okay, every episode we should name a couple names and see if, like, we got lucky and like one of them is listening yeah yeah do we have any if connor's by chance did we get a connor one. i don't know where that came from i saw cooper and then i just went what would something kind of like cooper but not what's cooper? the catch up girl let me catch you up but first but what first if, if we totally called your name false. today 
<laughs> that's hilarious. Honestly, who that's that'd be even that more fun. So fun. If if our Patreon flops, then that just means we get to like create closer bonds with the people that do. Imagine to there's us. like three people so on the like, Patreon and like that is so funny. That's like such a hilarious concept. We're like, do you guys want to like meet up for lunch or? Yeah, we're like, okay, I guess we're like blood related now. So if we guessed your name today. <laughs> If we guess your name today on the Patreon, Venmo is fifty dollars, so we know. Don't do that, actually. <laughs> and also, if you guys read the Patreon Whatever. like tiers, and you have any suggestions for like things that you would want in a- either of the tiers, like if there's something not there that you're like, this could be interesting, or we'd like this, just comment it down below so we're like aware of it. Even if we don't implement it, we're running it by ourselves right now, so we're kind of trying to keep it like on the lighter side because it's on top of other stuff we have going on. Um, and we both are like totally we edit all of our own stuff and do all of our own stuff we don't have like teams so we're gonna try to like stay on top of everything but if it's something that's not like crazy amount of work or crazy amount of editing just comment it down below so we can like be aware of it for the future exactly girl okay time to catch up girl we're like 40 minutes in we're catching up right now i i know this is bad i had an epiphany last night i was sitting on the couch with my boyfriend and I realized with your wow, what I really my boyfriend yeah y'all probably don't I think you I've mentioned literally on my don't video. talk about I'm the fact too. that you went from like this is like this is second secondly shocking to if you like told me that you were consistently consuming water <laughs> like the fact that you got a boy oh my girlfriend's taking the puppy out right now that's really cute. are you gonna like t- kind of tell the story of like no, tell it on the Patreon. Tell it on the Patreon. Okay, yeah, first Patreon, Patreon episode, let's talk about how we met our partners and how we started dating them. That's a great idea. That's so fun. I love yeah, that. Absolutely. Okay. You heard it here first. Okay, absolutely. Okay, so what were you going to say? But, okay, so just to slightly debrief, I was like, I was like, damn, the way that I really realized Mac was moving and I said, okay, it's time to replace her <laughs> with a significant other and i like went to grind time and i found like the perfect person and he's amazing it's and i am literally like i hate to say this but i am so the person where they have they always talk about like oh when the taxi cab light turns on like men will date and stuff and whatever when the taxi and, cab but they don't take it seriously on. and yeah it's like if their light is on there's certain people that date, they don't, like, give a fuck, like, about them or whatever, not taking it seriously. But then when they're ready to date some, like, to really date to marry or something, their light turns on. And then the next person that gets in the taxi or, like, starts dating them, they just, like, commit to. So you're to. right person, wrong time is what you're saying. Yeah, Because, like, their light they don't, has to like, be on. So, like, the right person can't come. Exactly. Locally. I understand. Exactly. So, like, for me, like, when I realized that you were moving, my light turned yeah. on. And I was like, okay, the next person is the one. <laughs> well, actually, there were, like, two people before. Yeah. Like, there were a few people that I was, like, talking to or whatever before I kind of chose. But this, he's super special. Like, I've literally never met Patreon him. Girl, Patreon episode. girl, Patreon like, girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tell the, the story is fucking ridiculous. Like, I could, sh- <sighs> the story's, like, obviously i want to ask you more questions about a relationship but we have to save that for the patreon that is the kind of stuff that's going to be like patreon only like something about something about that kind of space you feel safer and i feel that way on chosen family my other podcast as well because when we post stuff when we film and we're like this is a patreon episode i'm like (sighs) like i feel like okay if i accidentally slip up and give a detail about my relationship those are the people that i trust those are the people that like they will ride and die for you. They'll protect your, uh, like, information if you accidentally say something or, like, yeah, whatever. But anyway. Yeah, I am just remembering that this is going on your YouTube. So, like, so many people are going to hear about my shit story, but, like, whatever. I literally tried to warn you-, you. I literally said, I this care. is not it's behind fine. a paywall. If, if this has happened to any of you, please DM me and let me know. We can bond over this. Yeah, thank you for not Wait, telling them to... are you standing up right now? Am I what? Are you standing up right now? <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below if I should do every episode. <laughs> can you 
imagine me being like, <laughs> we are here. Being- <laughs> Are it's kind of like right person, wrong time. <laughs> no, I'm literally <laughs> sitting. Wait, we should totally do an episode where we like walk on a treadmill the whole time. I would be so down to That's do so some funny. episodes in like not ideal circumstances. That's actually hilarious. That is so funny. Wait, you're sitting right now? Girl, I just have good posture. Your posture is phenomenal. I've been working on it, honestly. I, like, I'm not even going to lie. I've put a little work in my posture. Because when you work behind a computer all day, Listen. you realize that you have the potential to get that that hunch, that hunch hunched over posture. And especially because when I climb, I do a lot of cave climbing. And me and my girlfriend noticed that when you see guys that mostly climb in the cave, they're like forward posture. Like they're like built inwards. And like, obviously this isn't to like, shame anybody's build or anything i'm just noticing that like their posture adjusts because they're Mm -hmm. constantly like this they're constantly like leading hanging like adjusting like that so like you notice that they're basically entirely like hunched forward and you know i don't see it as much on like women or people that uh you see like mostly climbing uh slab because they're open what uh, basically, I had to, I had to make some adjustments. Listen, that's just the most like un like unless you rock climb like that's such an unrelatable reason. Like the amount of people that get a hunchback from everyday things, and you're like when you're rock climbing, and you're also I don't know just the way you talk about it. You're like I don't really see it as much on <laughs> um, from the day from the day that I've the- gathered. I've mostly noticed that. Listen, um, when you um. <laughs> <laughs> It's not even funny because that's actually what you sound like. But, like, at the same time, you are just giving nerd so hard right now because the way you're sitting, like, this, and it looks like you're, like, gaming on a keyboard as you talk from what I see. Like, I don't I know why. I have noticed that there's and then you're been talking some adjustments about, like, to posture when you... Oh, my gosh. Um, But, anyway. Okay, anyways, so... Maybe I'll go over my... What's your maybe update? Maybe I'll go over my posture up, hacks um, on a future episode. Dude, I feel so bad. He definitely has to shit right now. My update? Or something. He's like waiting at the door. My update, you're going to think is stupid. But the catch up for me right now is that my hair is finally growing back out. And honestly, this is such a relief to me. Because the last time... Yeah, the views on TikTok are going to go back up. I sure hope so. (laughs) The last time I went to the hairdresser, she's perfect. She's an angel. I asked her to cut it too short. Because every time I go, I feel like I go a little bit shorter. Because I'm like, ooh, let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Mm-hmm. And I asked her to go just like a little bit shorter than the last time. A little bit shorter than the last time. And we've just been kind of working our way up. Girl, I did it to my damn self. I went too short last time. And I was like, mm-hmm. I cried. We have I think we can all say we've cried over a bad haircut. Okay. I sure as hell have. That that has to be like that is like well known relatable if like everybody has cried over a haircut yeah. hair is so interesting because like it's the thing i feel like you change the most throughout your life for a lot of people but it's also mm-hmm. such a scary thing to change because so many people are so attached to it and then you have the people that are just brave as fuck and just like shave it and like do whatever don't care no they and are I'm, not like, i cut off a centimeter and it was horrible, and I cried. Also, Michaela, those people aren't brave. Those people are mentally unstable. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All I have, like, six friends that do that all the time, like, change their hair every six? week. Six? They're going to hear this and be like, what the fuck? Six? I got a lot of so friends. So it's not true what they say. Your yeah. circle doesn't define you, because you literally won't dye your... Like, you wouldn't even let her tint. You wouldn't even let her bleach No, I know. I. But anyway, it's growing back out. And so I'm feeling um, much better about it. And that makes me super happy. Because when you don't feel like yourself, this is just another reminder that expression and, like, being able to express the way that you want to is so vitally important to, like, your mental health and, like, your well-being. Like, when you put yourself in something uncomfortable or put yourself wear something that makes you uncomfortable or anything like that, it is such a quick shift, like, how fast. You just don't want to talk to people. You just don't feel like... Right. It's so shitty, but I'm sure we'll dive more into this in the future. And what is the common denominator within... What is the common denominator within Karen's short hair? 
Thank God it's grown out. Okay, my light is getting super bad, but also we've been recording for a while now. So, um, I guess it's time to say bye. I guess that's it. Wait, we kind of did a terrible... Okay, this... Like, we'll catch you guys... This, I'll incorporate uh, a part of me talking. I'll, like, cut in and be like, they're okay. stupid. This is what it cool. is. I'll handle it. Okay, this was a very, like, chaotic, like, just... This is a chaotic whatever, example. But, but you, if the people that would want to join anyway are the people that have been DMing us saying they want us to keep making content together, are the people that have seen us make mm-hmm. content together, that's what you're signing up for. Just not in person mm-hmm. it's gonna be online because unfortunately right. we're not together but we're together we're gonna be together like once a month or something yeah, so we're there's trying. gonna be a lot of in-person content and if you join the top so. tier then you might get access to some in- in-person content if you get to- if you get the top tier i'm going to i'm gonna give you guys a sampler of my feet pick and give you some <laughs> why did your eye twitch else? when you said that <laughs> i don't know all right, if you're a patriot, calm down, Stop calm down below. That, if you're going to be <laughs> our Patreon patriots. That's the only kind on. of patriotism I want to be. I want to be related to. We're reclaiming it. <laughs> We're reclaiming patriotism. Where are our patriots at? Patriotism. Next time you see someone that has Patriots on their shirt, say hi. They're one of us. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't for your safety. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. Maybe. Maybe not. Mm-hmm. This laxative is That's kicking in. Let's you. get this going. Oh, Come uh, on now. Everything will be linked down below. The Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> the Patreon. Wait, what is it called? Hurry. What's it called? <laughs> Hurry! I'm gonna ship the myself. The Patreon mood. will be linked down Patreon. below. Matias' channels will be linked down below. We'll probably post a sampler video on her page as well. Follow her. Do the Patreon. Subscribe to me. Like the video. <laughs> and wish Matia good luck. We will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Send help. <laughs> I'm gonna ship myself seriously. Ew. Oh, you were serious?